is Jennifer and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a hair tool sort of review slash demo for you. This is not a first impressions because I have had this hair tool for about a month now and it is my new favorite hair tool. I love this hair tool for volumizing my hair. It is so easy to use and it is so fast to use. Without further ado, let's get started. So this is the hair tool. It is the volume volumizer, like hair volumizing iron. Originally back in like end of December-ish, they reached out and they were like, can we send you this hair tool in exchange for TikTok? So that's actually how I came in possession of it. I have the classic, which I believe retails for about $140 USD. So while this video is not sponsored, I did originally get this hair tool in exchange for a TikTok video. So I just wanna be honest with you there. So I washed my hair last night. It has been under 24 hours and my hair is just naturally very flat. Volume is just something I've always struggled with because my hair is so straight and there's not a whole lot of it. It's long, but there's not a whole lot of it. This is what the classic hair tool looks like. It is a volumizing iron with sort of these little square blocks in them. This is not a straightener, not a curler, not a crimper. Like you'll see what I mean when I start using it. One of the little benefits that it has, it has this little lock switch so that you can push it to the locked position and it just kind of stores flat, which is really nice for storage. And also someday when we travel again, it will be nice. So as I click and hold this button, it beeped and the temperature starts at default I think around 300 honestly I'm not sure what it showed um, but I generally click mine up to like 315 or 320 Th this should show you the temperature rising which is really convenient although it doesn't like beep when it meets temperature which I kind of wish it did anyway as it's heating up it also came with like a carrying case which I like to set this on top of so that it doesn't like burn my counter or anything it also came with little alligator clips and a, but one of these thin brushes um, that has like the sharp end. This I find really helpful for like pulling my part. My part floats around, honestly. So today it decided to be here. What you do as it's heating up, it's probably already there, honestly. So I'm gonna start on this side. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just part my hair kind of close to where I have the part. So kind of, you know two centimeters or so over and I am going to make sure that I pick up enough hair the idea is that you're volumizing one of the under layers and then this layer kind of lays back over it on top um, so that you know you still have very like very smooth hair so what I like to do is I like to take one alligator clip and clip my hair before I move the rest of the hair over this is just to remind me of where my part was because like I said, it likes to move around. And then with the hair that I picked up from this side, I will be clipping it down like this. And then, by the way, use heat protectant. I did that off camera. You want to pick up a chunk of hair. You don't want to pick it up by the hairline. Okay, you want to come inside a little bit. And I am just picking up probably around this much. What you want to do is you want to clamp your hair pretty quickly like you don't want to hold it for too long so I like to go up right against my roots and just press and release and then I'm going down my hair here pressing and release like pretty quick and you can sort of see sorry my hair is dark so it's probably hard to see but there is a little bit of texture here and you just let it go I like to sort of brush my fingers through it that's the nice thing is it doesn't tangle it just stays kind of nice like that you can see the texture like I said but when you flip over this bit of hair so once you flip your hair over to the side all of a sudden you have a little bit more volume if that is not enough volume for you what you can do is I'm gonna do it real quick here is clip it over and pick up another layer and repeat so this is probably going to be quite excessive because I usually just do the one layer for like very subtle volume. But for the purposes of this video, I'll go ahead and do another layer and then I let it go. So as you can see, it is quite big now. So I'm going to go ahead and repeat on this side. So doing the same thing, I clipped my hair where my part was to remind myself where it is. And then I'm going to clip again. 
and I'm gonna go right up against the roots and quickly just clamp and release, clamp and release. You don't wanna hold it for too long. It will start to leave like imprints that you can really tell and you don't really want that. So because I did two layers on the other side, I'll kind of do two layers again on this side. I don't want to go overboard, like I said, because this can make your hair very big, very fast. So you can definitely tell that I have some extra volume and literally from start to finish, it, this took me under eight minutes. This is also perfect for if you want to do the crown area, like what I would, I don't usually do the crown area, but I just want to show you. Still want to pick up a layer of smooth hair and then clamp and use the tool on like a layer under here and then smooth the top layer back over it. If I come close, you can kind of see a little bit of the textured hair coming through, but it's not too bad. And like I said, because my hair is black, I think I have a little bit of bonus or like it's hard to tell what part is what. If it is starting to look a little bit too textured or you didn't like kind of leave enough hair to cover it, you can go ahead and use a flat iron and just kind of like smooth it out a little bit. That will just kind of help tone it down if you went a little overboard with this. So yeah, that is my quick little tutorial demo. I just really wanted to show you guys a hair tool that I absolutely love. Because my hair is so long, like so long, it takes me forever to do like any curling or waving or whatever. And I used to only curl or wave my hair for the purpose of gaining volume. Like I liked how it looked, yes, but the main purpose was for volume. And now that I have this hair tool, I haven't curled or waved my hair a single time since I got it because when I can bring the volume back to my hair, I just love it straight. And the best thing is like, it will literally stay like this until the next time I wash my hair. So yeah, anyway, enough of me blabbering. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button if you've enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you next time. Bye!